Thank you. Firstly, I would like to thank Nick for the amazing work that he has done and all the volunteers of Pro Europa who have come out and who have helped us um, as we move forward and as we deal with the pain, as, as Nick has said. Many of us have worked here for years. Nigel Farage came in and he insulted. The vast majority of MEPs do a great job in this house right here. And I want to pay tribute to the MEPs that have represented British citizens and European citizens over the last decades. We, we are going to move forward by trying to work at better connecting European citizens with the institutions that work for them. There is a huge amount to do because there's so much misunderstanding and we really want to try and build that gap. My husband is French. I'm looking at him right now. We are a typical European uh, couple of which there are many, many, many. He founded Euractive, which is a news site which aimed to make what goes on in these institutions more transparent so that you, the media, can find your way as well in understanding what goes on here. You have a very important role in communicating that to the citizens of Europe so that they understand what's happening. And of course it's not all good. There are problems in these institutions just like there are in every other institution. And frankly, what we've seen in the UK recently has been shameful. We are really upset about it. And we wish that they would recognize that they too are far from perfect. And the only way to move forward is to work at getting better. And when we want to plant this, this oak tree, it's to remind us that we have roots, that we grow, that we are not perfect, that each person is different, that each tree is different, and that together we all form part of a planet which the European Union is doing a lot of good things to, to help move forward. So I'm not going to speak any longer. I would just like to thank you all. And yeah, we're really, really sad to be leaving. We hope to come back. But when we come back, we reckon that both the UK and the EU will have moved forward in a way that's going to make things better for the citizens of Europe.